Our two combatants to start things off tonight. On the right, it's Michael White from Wales. On the left, from England, Martin Gould. The referee, Greg Coniglio. <coughs> Again, it's the best of five frames. And for Michael White already, it's a vitally important match to win. He's played two, lost two. As for Martin Gould, one defeat, one victory. It's the first frame, Michael White's break. Of course, the evening session is beginning on the other table as well. Over there, David Hendon is commentating first on Ben Wollaston against Judd Tremp, and then on Tremp against Graham Dot. As for the second match of the session on this table, well, Martin Gould will remain here to take on Ricky Walden. Clive Everton will be commentating on that one for you. At this stage of a group, there's never any definitive answers as to what's going to happen, but with three wins out of three, it appears as though Lee Hang might well have done enough already to at least, at the very least, secure fifth place in the group and therefore guarantee minimum his participation in group number seven. Well, the first chance, if you can call it that, falls to white. Maybe three loose reds. A pack that needs to be dislodged. One. Seven. And now the one loose red that remained has actually been nudged into the bunch, so must go into them right here. Well, he's on one, and the way he hit the bunch, he deserved to be on one. Fifty. One hindrance for white going forward, the pink and the blue being so close to each other. Twenty-three. Good. Michael White scored pretty well in the first two frames against Graham Dot this afternoon. Made breaks of 74 and 67, but thereafter, it was one disappointment after the next, one error after the next, and Graham Dot came back to win 3-2. That, by the way, after White 
was beaten 3-0 this morning by Lee Hang. So this start, very welcome for him. And then what happens? He gets the cue ball cleaned, maybe shatters his own concentration and overcuts the black. Not been a day of great scoring so far for Gould. He put together a 62 break in the frame he won in a 3-1 defeat by Graham Dot. And although he whitewashed Ben Wollaston 3-0 this afternoon, in so doing, he didn't actually make a half century. But we know what a scorer he can be. 24. Thirty two. Fort. Already nine to the good with the promise of more to come. Forty four. Forty-five. Well, that's worked out pretty well. Forty-nine. Still an awful lot of toil, though, for Gould before he can wrap up the frame at this visit. So the break ends at 49, and what's more, he's left the red.
Zeit. Nein. Good pot on the penultimate red and it seems as though a really good angle on the black to get the other red out. There you go. But just too hard, it went past the middle pocket. Exactly the right contact, 60. but not soft enough. Michael White, 16. So one red left. Frame one very much in the balance. Gould was hoping for the thin edge to be sticking out from behind the brown, but not so. Coming off two cushions. Is the pink blocking White's path? Well, White couldn't pot the red. He could see it, but now one good pot across the ball cushion, and Gould could draw first blood. Now he's two ahead. One. Would he be worth potting the pink, maybe, and freeing up the blue? Nine in front on the colours, so he does need the blue. That shot selection Seven. made all the sense in the world. Nine. A very straightforward frame ball, this. Twenty one. It was all about the last red. Martin Gould in escaping a snooker left a partial snooker. Indirectly, that led to his chance, and he took it. And so Martin Gould leads Michael White by one frame to nil, and that's a scoreline replicated on the other table, where Judd Trump has taken the first against Ben Wollaston, and in some style to boot, Trump made the fourth century of this group. And now he's hoping for more. For Trump, it was a case of recovering from an early loss today. He was beaten 3-0 by Lee Hang in his opening match, but then returned the compliment when he played Ricky Walden this afternoon. So one win, one defeat for Trump in the group. I'm afraid two defeats and only one frame won for Ben Wollaston so far. So Wollaston and Michael White right now are the the two men in peril, as it were. But we know from past experience, things can change very quickly. Frame two. Arsene Gould.
both aggressive snooker players, these two both attacking. Good potters, good break builders. And so I'm sure you'll be surprised to know that with the frame we've just seen, they've played 18 frames against each other in professional competition and the highest break is only 76. And not all that many half centuries either. Well, One. is that the start of something a little better from Martin Gould? What a great red. What a red. In their head-to-head -head series, White has won two matches, both in the Paul Hunter Classic. One in 2011, one in 2014, both by a score of four frames to one. But in their most important match in terms of ranking points and prize money. Six. Gould prevailed 4-3. That was in the last 32 of the 2015 Players' Championship. Seven. He struck that one nicely. This could have been so, so much better. OK, he's got a couple of reds, maybe even three. But nothing simple. Stay down on the shot there for quite some time. Now, that's normally an indication that they're not quite sure whether the ball's going in or not. In that case, it was right into the heart of the pocket. Well, it was such a lovely angle off the blue, Gould couldn't resist going into the bunch again. Eight. But I'm afraid it's in vain. When I looked at his, so that's what counts. Sorry, Martin. Don't know whether there was some dispute there or not, but referee Greg Coniglio calls a touching ball. Gould, 18.
Paul Gould made a real pig's ear of that one, didn't he? But at first glance, nothing easy at all for White. He has got a red to middle, but it could never be described as easy, especially queuing over the top left-hand corner pocket. Good part and a big enough bounce off the ball cushion to be on the yellow. One of those One, days. Three. Quite obviously, play to avoid the red he made a pretty full ball contact with. The pink will go to the middle pocket, but it's a very acute angle. It's awkward queuing for Gould anyway. Yellow. So instead, it's the yellow. Entirely sensible. Although not really well played, could have done with hitting the yellow a little thicker and leaving the cue ball closer to the ball cushion in a line with the brown. Now that is typical Martin Gould, he's such a good potter. That one was thumped into the pocket. Made that lovely sound as it hit the, the back of the pocket. He wasn't sure, was he? He was worried as the pink was making its way to the pocket, but it just about flopped in. Not good. Okay, he's on position for the red, but the cue is the cue ball's much too close to the side cushion. 13. Just didn't time that right. Wasn't a kick. And in fairness to Gould and everyone involved, on occasions the table is just a little bit unresponsive. So that kind of shot off the blue, not easy.
but he's recovered and he's building a very useful lead. Right. Twenty-six. Never easy this kind of shot, but these pockets over the last three days have been quite accommodating. Especially when you play at that kind of relatively quiet pace. 34. Fault. The lead goes to fifty six points now, so this is frame ball. White's woes continue. Well, he tried to wobble and stay out, but that was a really good effort from, from Gould. Not that it mattered a, a great deal. Frame already well and truly secured. And even with two reds, two blacks from here, plus all the colours, wouldn't be quite enough for a century. 54. Good stuff from Gould, not so from White. Hence the scoreline. 2-0 to the Englishman. Gould made a 49 break in the first frame. Wrapped it up with the last red to pink clearance. There, a break of 60. And he's doubled the advantage. Martin Gould, 2. Michael White, 0. Now, the first frame between Judd Trump and Ben Wollaston saw a century from Trump. And look at the reds here. Who knows, this could be another. As we join it, Trump is now just 10 points behind Ben Wollaston. And not an awkward ball in sight. Before a ball was struck in this group, he was installed as the favourite for it. And you can easily understand why, given his status in the game and world ranking. But winning these groups, not easy, especially with these sprint matches. 
Trump suffered an early setback when he was beaten in the morning session by Lee Hang, 3-0. But his response since then has been spot on. He's won this championship league on three occasions. Two thousand and nine is a fresh faced youngster. Twenty fourteen. Twenty sixteen. And the middle triumph for Trump was pertinent to this match because in the overall winners group final, who did he beat to capture the title? The man who's just come back into the arena. Martin Gould. So breaking off a Welshman with that cliched amount into climb. Not just 2-0 down in this match, but staring at three consecutive defeats. Gould disgusted with that. One. So white, hand on table, reds spread. Eight. Sixteen. Seventeen. T four. Twenty five. Thirty two. <coughs> Well, it was four reds, four blacks, but there'll be no black after this, surely. Well, maybe now he's changed his shot choice. There will be. Thirty-three. There haven't been too many bright points so far today what? for White. But a big break is always a tonic. Talking of big breaks, 
Judd Trump followed up his century in the first frame with a break of 68 in the second. He leads Ben Wollaston 2-0. White, White just can't White. get anything sustained going, can he? Okay, the break was 48, but it should and could easily have been more. Well, at least White knows from bitter personal experience that he should not be slumping the shoulders yet. This afternoon, he was 2-0 up himself against Graham Dot, lost 3-2. All is not lost at this juncture. Far from it. especially after that nicely executed cut. The cue ball's coming to rest just where he wanted it for the blue. And from here, he should be wrapping up the frame. No ifs, buts or maybes. The lead 62, so this red, and now the black, 50. and Gould will need a snooker. Actually, one more red required after that. Six reds on the table, so therefore 75 points still there. Just a faint glimmer of hope for Gould, but this red has to go astray. Three. Eight. Twenty nine. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. And the frame, Michael White. Breaks of 48 and 37. With that, Michael White wins the frame. 
Martin Gould does not score a point in the third. His lead is trimmed. Gould is now two on up on the Welshman. Over on the other table, looking very good indeed for Jed Trump. As we've said, breaks of 168 so far to take a 2-0 lead. Although, as you can see, Ben Wollaston in amongst them, scoring here. Or at least he should be scoring after this. Michael White has won three frames so far today. But that's three times as many as Wollaston. Started off with a 3-1 defeat by Ricky Walden. Then he was whitewashed 3-0 by Martin Gould. And as you can see, in a deep hole against Trump. More news from table two, as and when. Now back to table one, where Martin Gould wants to put the lid on victory. Conversely, Michael White wants to take it to a decider. good pot from Gould in itself did well to stun over avoid the blue ideally you'd have liked the cue ball to be maybe nine inches more down the table on the right side of the blue for position has to dig in and try and crunch the cue ball in and out of bulk didn't do that didn't pot the blue it was asking a lot Well, he played the safety, but not that thin. Foul. Martin Gould, four. He's such a good potter from distance, Gould, that when he gets the ball in hand like this, it's hard to imagine him refusing one. But of course, he won't take any risk if he can't get any kind of position. That's why the manoeuvring of the cue ball is going on. And that's why, in the end, he's accepted defeat.
to be fair to White, he didn't cue that one too badly, actually. It was very close. But, of course, with that kind of pace on the red, it had to be very accurate. Now, does the black pot to the top right-hand corner pocket? Six. Looking at it, <laughs> you would think the answer's yes. And it does. Seven. doesn't want to be too straight on the red he's closest to and I think by the grimace on his face he oh. might might be entirely straight <coughs> he was okay 50 just enough angle Coaxed on a bit of side as well. Twenty two. Twenty three. Looking quite grim at the moment for White. And of course, if Gould could win this match, Bet. two out of three, not bad. With one more contest to come on this table straight afterwards against Ricky Walden. 31. 37. Forty five. I can tell you that Ben Wollaston is just about to win the third frame against Jeff Trump, so at the very least he's going to avoid the whitewash. It's going to be 2-1 there in a few moments. And I think Gould is on the red, and if he is, 2-1 here could soon become 3-1.
54. Michael White sitting there in his chair. He will not be expecting to get back to the table. His last involvement in this match, he believes right now, will be shaking hands. From here, for Gould, it's a matter of red colour, and then he's in the safety zone. Sixty-one. Highest break of the match so far, superseding his break of 60 in the second frame. We had a parade of centuries yesterday, and indeed the day before in Group 5. 20 centuries in that group. The proliferation down today. Only four so far. But here, Gould's in pursuit of number five. The main business has been well and truly wrapped up. Victory will be his. Eight. Oh, that's a pity. No century. Gould deprived that, but he's not deprived the win. With breaks of 49.